Hi there to my young friends. Can you believe we're thinking about Christmas already? Well, Miss Jill is going to talk to us about angels today. So let's see what she has to say. Hey, welcome back to Sunday School. Hope everyone has had a good week. I have a question for you. Do you remember in past lessons how we have talked about seasons and how the church has seasons too? Well, today we're going to start learning about the season of Advent. Who knows the meaning of Advent? Let's keep things simple, shall we? Advent means the four Sundays leading up to Christmas. Some people call it the coming of Christ. Okay, now that we know what Advent means, let's move on. Who can tell me what Christmas is all about? Is it about presents and Santa Claus? Yes, it is about those things. But who can tell me the true meaning of Christmas? Who said it's Jesus' birthday? You're right! Great job! Since today is the first Sunday of Advent, we will explore together the whole season leading up to Jesus' birth. It's a pretty cool story. And the funny thing is, it never changes. So we begin our first story in Advent about two ordinary people, just like you and me. Anyone know who I'm talking about? Did I just hear Mary and Joseph? Yes, you were right. Mary and Joseph were just two normal, everyday people who happened to love each other. Joseph was a carpenter who worked very hard. He only wanted the best for Mary. After all, they were planning on getting married pretty soon. One day, Joseph was away working and Mary was cleaning around a room when all of a sudden, an angel appeared out of nowhere. Before Mary could even get a word out, out, the angel told her that she was favored by God and that God was with her. You see, Mary believed with all her heart in God and his love. She was a little nervous, though, because, I mean, it's not every day you have an angel in your house talking to you. All Mary could think was, why is this angel here? Why me? The angel quickly tried to reassure her that all was well. The angel said, do not be afraid. God has found favor with you. You will have a baby boy and you are to name him Jesus. Mary was so confused. After all, she wasn't yet married to Joseph. So how could she have a baby? The angel saw Mary's confusion and said, the Holy Spirit will perform a miracle. And because of this, your baby will be called the Son of God. Mary couldn't believe what she was hearing. She didn't know what to say. She was shaking with fear, but knew she needed to pray. She knelt down and said, I am the Lord's servant, and I hope everything you have said will come true. With that, the angel disappeared and Mary was alone. When Joseph found out Mary was going to have a baby, he was pretty upset and confused. But as he slept one night, an angel came to him and said, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The child Mary is going to have is God's son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. When Joseph woke up, he remembered what the angel said. He was very much at peace with Mary having the child. He knew everything was going to be okay. He wasn't upset anymore. Okay, so next week, we're going to learn more of the story of Advent leading up to Christmas. So I'm sure you've all received the activity book I sent out. If you read the story, you will already know what's coming up in the next few weeks. Stay tuned, though. You may learn something that isn't in your activity book. Your bulletins are ready to be printed online. Here's the book. This is what it looks like on the way to Bethlehem. There's a little hint of what we're going to talk about. It is the story and there's stickers and there's puzzles and stuff in it. So I think you're going to like it. As always, wear your masks, wash your hands, keep them away from your face and say your prayers. 
Thanks for the pictures that I've been getting. I've loved them. Summer, you did a great job. Jesus sure does love you s'more. I'll see you next week with the next chapter of our Advent story. So long.